Elon Musk. The richest man on earth is famously known for his Gulfstream G700 jet which he obtained by placing an order with the company. The publication did not include the date that Musk purchased the jet anywhere in its text. But today, we will be uncovering everything you need to know about Elon Musk's famed jet. According to the story regarding how Elon acquired this jet, it is believed that the G700, which made its first public appearance in October 2019, has replaced his current plane, which is a G650ER. The majority of Musk's travels are accomplished via his jet. The flight logs that the Washington Post was able to obtain reveal that the millionaire flew his G650ER a combined distance of more than 150,000 kilometers in 2018. The Federal Aviation Agency is continuing to study the software of the G700 jet, which may create a delay in the plane's delivery of anywhere between three and six months, as reported by Flight Global. At present, Musk is the owner of a total of four private aircraft, three of which were produced by Gulfstream. In addition, Musk is the ecstatic owner of a Dassault 900B, which was the very first plane he ever purchased for his collection. According to the FAA registry, all of Elon Musk's planes are registered to Falcon Landing LLC, which is a front company with ties to SpaceX. It's possible that maintaining the full functionality of the G700 will be an expensive task. Following the information provided by Liberty Jet, if you fly the jet for a total of 400 hours, you may rack up operational expenses that amount to almost $3.5 million. According to the information presented on the aviation website, the two components of running the plane that is the most costly are the cost of gasoline and the cost of maintaining the engine. When it comes to these astronomically expensive operating costs, Musk is hardly a greenhorn. The Twitter account at Elon Jet, which follows Musk's excursions, reports that the amount of money that Musk spent on gasoline for his journey on October 31st on the G650ER from Los Angeles to New Jersey was $14,829. Elon Musk reportedly spent almost four and a half hours in the air, according to the narrative. According to Bloomberg, the G700 is a stretched version of the G650, and its size is designed to compete with that of the Bombardier 750. This comparison was made because of the similarities between the two models. Gulfstream reports that the length of the aircraft is 109 feet and 10 inches and that its height is 25 feet and 5 inches. The same Gulfstream spec sheet that was linked to above indicates that the G700 is capable of cruising at a speed of Mach 0.925, which is a speed that is marginally lower than the speed of sound. According to a press statement that was distributed by Gulfstream in May, the journey that began in Georgia and ended in Geneva, Switzerland aboard a Gulfstream G700 took 7 hours and 37 minutes to accomplish while maintaining a cruising speed of 0.90 Mach. According to the tour that can be taken virtually of the aircraft, the cabin of the G700 is separated into several distinct zones. A restroom, a kitchen, some front seats, an entertainment suite, and a dining space are all included in these areas. These parts come on top of the stateroom and the attached bathroom that is already included. The photographs that are available of the inside of the G700 show that the stateroom may be set up with either a single bed or a double bed depending on the passenger's needs. The inside of the G700 features a significant amount of natural light thanks to the vehicle's total of 20 windows, which are spread out over the cabin. The virtual tour reveals that the bathroom is furnished with a variety of storage areas for personal belongings such as toiletries and valuables, a full-length mirror, and a leather-seated toilet. When compared to the 8.4 million metric tons that Tesla estimates, its customers have avoided emitting in 2021 as a result of the company's products and services. The approximately 2,112 metric tons of greenhouse gas that Elon Musk's jet is estimated to have emitted in 2022 is a negligible amount. However, this results in a carbon footprint that is more than 140 times larger than that of the typical American. And to compensate for this, a Tesla Model 3 would need to drive the equivalent of 7 million miles in place of an average premium internal combustion vehicle to achieve the same level of carbon neutrality. When you follow Musk's plane across the world, you get a clear picture of the obligations that come with running so many different companies. The self-made billionaire oversees five distinct companies that are spread out across the states of California and Texas. Companies like Tesla, SpaceX, Twitter, The Boring Company, and Neuralink are included in this group. The flight patterns of his jet have been examined, and it appears that at least a portion of the reason that Elon Musk spends so much time in the air is that he is always flying between different locations for his several firms. Throughout the previous year, investors were worried about the vast list of obligations that he was responsible for, as well as the travel and other time commitments that went along with it. Musk's wealth decreased by more than $200 billion from its previous high point as a direct result of the sharp reduction in the share price of Tesla. This took place at the end of December and caused Musk to lose his position as the richest person in the world. This event also caused Musk to lose his position as the person with the greatest number of Twitter followers. 
yet he was able to reclaim that position this week as a result of a strong increase in Tesla's stock price in advance of the investor day that the firm will hold on March 1st. Although Musk owns his plane, it is unknown whether or not he uses it regularly. The data collected by the aircraft are unable to reveal either the passengers on a flight or the purpose of the journey. But, the practically constant tweeting that Elon Musk does gives the impression that he is present wherever his jet is, at least a portion of the time. Elon Musk is a billionaire who is constantly mentioned in the media as a result of the fact that he has purchased some of the most expensive items and companies in the world. Recent deals include the purchase of Twitter, Inc for $44 billion and the purchasing of an ultra-luxurious private jet for hundreds of millions of dollars. Both of these deals are examples of recent transactions. The luxurious atmosphere of the G700's cabin is a result of the combination of its 20 oval windows, its five sitting areas, and its two restrooms. That is an accurate reading of the sentence. The G700 is powered by not one, but two Rolls-Royce engines and it can go up to 7,500 nautical miles non-stop. In addition to that, it can transport 75 people at once. In addition to that, it has a Wi-Fi system and two head-up displays, both of which are intended to make landings as risk-free as possible. The private jet has enough room for up to 19 passengers and can go as high as 51 feet in the air. According to recent research by Mint, the astonishing value of the Gulfstream G700 is estimated to be $78 million. A jet this big is fit for a man of Musk's caliber. According to Z News, the new CEO of Twitter already possesses four private Gulfstream planes, so flying in a private jet won't be his first time in the sky. According to the report, the registrations for all of the private planes are held by a limited liability company called Falcon Landing. This firm has ties to both SpaceX and Tesla, so it seems sensible that it would hold these registrations. Bloomer reports that Elon Musk's net worth has decreased by approximately $9 billion as a direct result of his acquisition of Twitter, which was the most leveraged buyout of a technology company in the history of the industry. At the time, it is estimated that the entire amount of wealth he possesses is $190 billion. It is generally agreed that Elon Musk's Gulfstream G700 which belongs to the corporation, is one of the showpiece aircraft in their fleet. So, that's all for today's video, make sure to like and subscribe for more. See you soon with a brand new update.